Hello, it's Sharon. And okay, this was not planned. These are modern Polly Pockets. And these are, um, how do you say that? Tiny Compacts. And uh, I don't have any Tiny Compacts. I collect the modern Polly Pockets from... From... Um, from the sticky ones and then uh, they they got later packs and I have showed them all on my YouTube channel so if you want to uh, watch them I will uh, you can see them all on uh, on a video but I, the, uh, I uh, decided to stop with the modern Polly Pockets because I had no space and so lack of space and it was just too much money for vintage and modern uh, because I want to uh, bid more at the vintage to get them. And also I, I uh, noticed that I love the vintage more than the modern ones. So I'm really happy with what I have uh, of the modern ones. I have three, uh, three nice closets uh uh, showcase closets uh, next to each other. The middle one is full, is filled with modern ones, and the other two are with vintage ones. And so, it's a very nice combination to to watch, to look at. But I stopped. Um, I think with the dolphin, the butterfly, uh, the gumball machine, and uh, the elephant, I stopped um, with the uh, with the modern Polly Pockets, but. I was in a very cheap store, the action here, and I saw these two. And I thought they were 3 euro each. I thought, okay, I can't help myself. I have to buy them. So I bought them. I don't know if there are more of these. If there, uh, I think they, uh, there are because uh, there were also a lot of tiny compacts but I thought they were too tiny so I didn't collect them because uh, I like the, the bigger ones more but now I have two tiny compacts and I want to show you to them this is a dog one as you can see and my cat is mowing because he can't get himself under a blanket he's naked so he wants a warm blanket and if I sound a bit na nasal then it's uh, because my nose is stuffed I'm a bit of a cold <clears throat> you see here it's a very tiny uh, compact they are and here you see the dog bench and the dog food and some and a bone and so let's start with this one first let's get it out oh it's all in few pieces and it's all out and it says nothing on it has no name so it's a nameless one the bigger ones have also always a name oh I see it they put a tape on it and it's with a pack so it's the later ones so <clears throat> new ones and here we have a dog house and we can put it we can put it like this i think well it must must fit but it doesn't really it's like this and also the other side I think maybe that one goes better then you can make a dog house from the compact but I think it is this is the place to put it I must say it's very loose on all the packs this this and this and there are three ways you can put a dog house and I don't know why but for some reason it is not really it's not really solid the packs are just 
I'm not a real fan of the packs, to be honest. The sticky one was also... I. I just prefer the, the old way of the vintage way, how they put just a, a round a circle and you can put your doll in the circle. That's just the best way. This is, this is just, I don't know. This is just, look, it falls off and obviously it has to, it fits, it has to fit. But it doesn't. Okay, so that's not a good point. Well, it's three bucks, so let's not complain. And we can do this item here. And then we can close the ring, the heart ring. And then we have... <clears throat> and then you can wear it. I like the compact from the outside, poly pocket, it's very uh, solid, it's, uh, yeah, that's really nice, it's very, very tiny, look at my hand, it's very tiny, it's not uh, like the old, the old, uh, the bigger ones, it has the same heart to open it, and the same mechanism, uh, you can do 19 degrees flat and that's it. There are only two stands. Well, what do we have here? We have here paper with dog uh, with footprints. We have dog food here. We have some see-through fish and a gecko or something. Maybe a terrarium. I don't know. And we have a duck who can go from, who can slide. And you can't pick it up. It, he can spin around. And he can go back and forth. And you can't get it out. And that's a duck. And... Yeah, I don't think there is much of playing. And then you have also Polly Pocket with a very weird face. She has a she has glasses on and a dog face, and that makes it really really weird, especially the glasses. So, and she has a a fish on her shirt, and the print is not a, a very good quality. No, now I know I stopped collecting modern Polly Pockets. It's just not worth it. It's just, it feels very, very cheap. It was cheap, but it feels cheap as well. And this is also paper. And so be careful with water because it will damage. And this is the dog show or it's a, or it's a, a dog house there's just one dog and a fish is here and a birdie and uh, this is more for a cat a scratch post I think so and here's a bird oh and here's a cat that's a cat I thought so there's a scratch post this is really for a cat because I have cats and I have something like that and there's a poodle Something like a poodle-like dog. Uh, and you can put the house here, but it's not... Oh, this stays, but it's really not solid. It's really... It doesn't click in or something. Well, this is the first one. I don't know what to think of it. <laughs> There's not much to paint or something to make it better. It's just uh, the packs. It's just a bit boring. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have old ones of the tiny uh, compacts, uh, are they better uh, with the sticky ones? Or is this uh, with, the, with the packs, is, it, is that better? Let's go to the second one. Maybe that one is better. This one is with bees. 
it has the thing bees. As you can see, she has a bee shirt on. So it's a bee pocket. And she has also, it's not Polly, but a friend. And she has a, a bee on her cheek. And she has a bee on her uh, shirt. And she has also holes, so she is also with the packs. And the outside. The other one was a square, and this is uh, this is round, so that's what I like, uh, a bit variation. That's also with the vintage, you have squares and round compacts, that's really cool. And you can put this one here, and click it in, like this. And then you can take it with you, just with your finger like this and this one has also Polly Pocket logo just on it a um, very plastic thing but I don't uh, yeah I like it I like it the color is uh, is is pink it's a very bright pink but it looks orange on the on the camera but it's not orange it's pink and here we have the same thing also uh, a sort of bee house, a, uh, a beehive is it, and we have also, you can see, let's focus, okay, um, what do we have here, a chair and some beehive signs, uh, plastic grass with flowers, and a beehive here with some undefined objects. And we can touch this. And then we have a little beer cup. It's a little one. I think a beer because a beer likes honey, right? And here we have a lot of honey. It's very easy to uh, to showcase this because it's all very tiny and it fits right in the camera. And here we have bees all around it, bees in on the plastic background with flowers, a lot of flowers. I like the, the theme because bees are very, very, very... Oh, you can also get this out or not. Yes. Oh, look. Now you can see it very well. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, that's with the other one as well, I think. And you can do it like this. And then you can do the honey and the bees. On the bags. This one is better. Look, this is, this is more solid. This one is better. Maybe I have a bad compact because they were so cheap. So <laughs> I don't know, but I like this one. Oh, and this one can can turn around. Maybe it can get off. No. Oh no, you can turn it around from the back. There is here a thing you can spin and you can spin around. The bee, it's all very tiny. So, now you can see how lovely. And the bee is very important for our nature because without the bee there is no life. Bees are very important for us, for, human, for humans. So, we have to take care of our bees. So, okay, that was a very uh, wise uh, talk. <laughs> And she can on a she can go on a pack a bit weird, but well, there is no other pack where she can stand. Oh, she can sit in the chair like this. So, so this is compact number two. Let's see if compact number one can do the same. I think it will.
Yes. Oh, you can see it very better. You can see the bird better and the fish and a very big paw. And yes, it's just a, a, a sticker. Yes, it's just a, a sticker and you can do this like this and then you have a show. And let's see if it now... No, it's still very loose. This is not the best made compact. The beehive was better. Well, I think uh, I showed them all. Let me know what you think about these compacts. And I think the playability is low. The cuteness is uh, average. Um, what can we say more about it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the packs. And I think the bee, uh, the bee theme is really cool. So I like that compact more. But it's very... Uh, yeah, you can do very much. But if it was a vintage one, you have also lockets with vintage one. I will show you later in a video. That's really tiny and you can do one thing, uh, open a book or something and put your uh, doll in a, in one place and you have one uh, animal or so. No, you have no animal. You have just one doll and just that's it. it they are so tiny. They are, I think, one color of this. But still, this is, I don't know what to think about this. It is that it was very cheap and that I thought, okay, let's, why not, six euros, let's do it. And uh, I think it's nice to have it in my collection, but I don't think I will uh, buy them all. No, not at all. Okay, well, have a good day and i hope you will uh, leave a comment what you think about these poly pockets and let me know in the comments and please give it a like and uh, i will see you in the next and then we will go back to the vintage i promise uh, i don't promise because i don't know what i will buy or but i think it will be vintage <laughs> okay Bye-bye. See you later.